welcome to tonight's episode. We're going to be testing a new camera tonight. It's a Canon M10. All my bikes seem to be a little bit beaten up at the moment because they need servicing. So uh, the only one left in the garage was the Boardman, ready to go. Unfortunately, I uh, <laughs> got it out and I realised why I haven't been riding it for a while. I think I need some new brake pads on the front. I seem to have, um, I seem to have put my, uh, my crap wheel on as well and I can't think for the life of me why I did it. Anyway, we'll work it out. Right, so the M10. We're going to be testing it today because I want to see how it performs. It's not got any microphone built in. Now, I could crack it open and I could hotwire the microphone sockets. It's got stereo mics on it. I could hotwire them into a, a 3.5 jack and then use my wireless on there. I might be doing that possibly, maybe in the future. Depends if this comes out any good. At the moment, I've just shoved the dead cat on top of it. So if it comes out good, uh, we'll keep it as it is. Um, we need to be testing it with wind motion, of course. I don't think we've got that much stabilization going on on here. And I just want to see if I can get any shots with it, like I normally would do, say, on the Pocket 2. I'm going to start rolling, and uh, yeah, let's see if this performs uh, in any way, shape or form, better, equal or worse. I'm guessing the crop's quite bad as well, like, uh, say, on the Sony. I wonder if the audio is picking up. We've got a bit of, uh, uh, not strong wind, but moderate wind. Certainly noticeable on any other microphone. If I'm using my wireless mics, this will be a little hum in the background. Yeah, we'll get the normal type of shot. It's a different kind of weight as well. This camera weighs about 310 grams, plus the little stick I've got. Probably brings it to about just under 400. But well, we're going to go to the bridge. I'll get some nice shots and see if uh, see if this camera measures up. Not only is the sound important, motion, obviously we will get the jitters. It's smooth, picture quality, battery life is a key indicator as well. Test shots there, just a mixture of what I would normally do on the bike, off the bike. Let's see if they came out okay, let's see if the audio works. Battery life seems to be absolutely fantastic on this already, I can tell you that. Looking at this, yeah, I've got three bars on the battery. So either that's going to drop like a lead balloon or uh, that's going to last me lovely, so might be okay. We'll see. What's the footage look like for you guys at home? Uh, only a short video just to give you a demo on what this camera can do. All new cameras require a little bit of getting used to, just the way they all work. Like on the Pocket 2, I'm pretty A OK with the autofocus on that. And sort of work out when to point, when it focuses, when it doesn't focus, and whatnot. On the GoPros, they were, well, there wasn't any focus at all, it was just basically there. Uh, with the DJI Action 2, well that was just rubbish, no. Anyway, uh, yeah, so what do you reckon of the camera? Is it any good? Am I even going to post this? I don't know. If it is, it's the work phone. If you do see this video online, it means that it is pretty okay or acceptable, and I've posted it as a video. 
So as always, thank you very much for joining. Uh, if you do like what you see, please do click like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.